This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short tutorial, I show how to change where Final Cut Pro stores library elements, how to change the location, then how to consolidate media into a single new location. Julie asks, how can I change where Final Cut stores media? She's got media scattered in a variety of locations, on her internal drive, on a couple of external drives, and she wants to consolidate it all into a single spot and get it off her internal drive. And the answer is, media storage is determined from the library storage options inside Final Cut. Let me show you how this works. To change the library storage locations, you select the library, as I've done up here, and you go over to where it says storage locations inside the inspector. Click modify settings. Here, by default, unless you change it when you import media and you give it a different location, it's going to store media in the library. Well, I don't want my media stored in the library. I want to create a new location. I'm going to go to the desktop, and on the desktop, I'm going to create a new folder called my media. Now you can call this folder anything. It's perfectly okay. We'll just call it something simple and say choose. Now media is going to be stored inside the my media folder whenever you drag media into Final Cut. That is bypassing the import window. Motion content, which are custom templates, are being stored in the motion template folder. If you're going to be sending the library to somebody else, change this to in library. But if you're not sharing the library, don't worry about it. Cache files are things like render files and analysis. I have them stored in the movies folder. And backups are also stored in a location different from where I store libraries. Just in case I lose that hard disk, I've got a backup on a separate hard disk. And click OK. So what I've done now is I've created a central storage location for media for the library, but I haven't moved any existing media. It only affects media which has yet to be imported into Final Cut. To consolidate the media, go back to the inspector, and notice it says My Media is the folder. Click Consolidate, and you have the ability to pick whether you're going to include original media, optimized media, or proxy media, and the destination it's all going to get moved to. When you click OK, the media will be moved for this project into that folder. This is a great way to get media off your internal drive and to an external drive without having to drag and relink all these files automatically. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you select the library and go up to File and say Delete Generated Media or Delete Generated Library Files, I'll show you. You have the option of getting rid of render files and optimized and proxy media. Now, when you're deleting this, you can delete only the render files that you're not using because they tend to accumulate or delete all of them. This is a very handy utility to sort of reset everything and, and recover hard disk space. If by any chance you make a mistake and delete the wrong file, as soon as Final Cut realizes it's missing, it's going to go back and recreate it. So it doesn't make sense to delete generated media simply to save space, because Final Cut will fill that space back up if it needs the file. But if it doesn't, you've got all that space back. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 333. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software, and we update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.